Hi, my name is Kathleen Losey, and as the director of the Reynolds Creek Critical Zone Observatory, I'd like to welcome you to the virtual tour. We established the Reynolds Creek Critical Zone Observatory in 2013 as a part of the National Science Foundation program investigating the structure and the function of the critical zone, really that thin layer of the Earth's surface that really provides a lot of the essential functions for human health and well-being. In particular, soils are really vital in providing many important functions, such as providing uh, a medium for plant growth, but also for storing water, nutrients, and carbon. Soils store three times more carbon than the atmosphere. Despite this fact, there's a lot of uncertainty that still remains in terms of how much carbon there actually is in the soil, but also the processes really driving or governing the um, storage of that carbon. And so it's really vital for us to understand that soil carbon reservoir and figure out really how it works, particularly in the face of uh, climate change, but also land use change. So here at the Reynolds Creek, we're collaborating with landowners, the USDA Agricultural Research Service, in investigating how much carbon storage is available on the landscape and looking at it at different scales from the plot to the landscape scale, trying to improve both our understanding and prediction of soil carbon. Really trying to figure out those processes driving the movement of it across the landscape. You'll find a map on the website where you can start to discover the research activities in the Reynolds Creek Critical Zone Observatory. I thank you for your interest in the Reynolds Creek Critical Zone Observatory and I hope you take a moment to explore all of our research.